Greetings and welcome to It Just Works. I'm Virtual Paradise and today I'll be comparing and showing some things I've noticed with the new Lumen and Nanite Unreal Engine features added to Fortnite. Unfortunately it's currently the only game with these features implemented, but it should still give us a good look at the possibilities for more realistic games and games with different art styles. This was captured with an RTX 3090 and a Ryzen 5900X with 4K high settings. Now let's get into the comparisons. So our first view from the battle bus in the sky is really showing Nanite and Lumen stretching its legs. As you can see the trees in pretty much full detail with full shadows all the way from here. I already can't wait for them to implement this into more realistic looking games. It's going to look amazing. Now as we fly down to the ground, just look at the amount of detail in the shadows. It's completely night and day. For some reason there's a reflection in the sea missing from some of the rocks floating in the sky on the Lumina Nanite one, but not in the screen space reflections one, which I find slightly odd. But already Lumen is doing a fantastic job compared to hardware ray tracing. It's so nice to have a software option now. It looks extremely impressive when you go into a room, especially from outside in the daylight. As you can see, the way that the light bleeds in as you go in and your vision adjusts to the room, it just looks fantastic. I'd say it looks a bit more saturated than the hardware ray tracing, but so far it's impressive and it's extremely close to hardware ray tracing. And when you're in a room, the way the light floods in and bounces just looks awesome too. May not be ideal for competitive PvP as you want more clarity when you're looking outside and into buildings, etc. Even just go into a shaded area outside, like under this dock area, is still a really good showcase of what Lumen can do, especially compared to hardware ray tracing. Considering we've only had this kind of fidelity with light and shadow since hardware ray tracing came out, and now we've finally got a software version being implemented. It's great. Now, breaking items still looks quite similar between DirectX 11 and 12. There does seem to be more light bleed from somewhere with the Lumen though. As you can see there's more highlights on the floor where I am at the moment. And especially when we look against this wall here you can see it's more saturated in the Lumen and Nanite versus the hardware ray tracing. Now on this scene where the car is driving through the water it actually looks like there's a bit more detail on the water reflections from the trees on the Lumen and Nanite one versus the hardware ray tracing. Also, the box on the back of the truck, the reflection from the rear windscreen is more pronounced on the Lumen and Nanite versus the hardware ray tracing one. While driving through the storm like this as well, you can see there's a bit more of an atmospheric haze to Lumen and Nanite versus hardware ray tracing. And for some reason in this bit of water, there's a shadow being cast on the water that's being picked up on Lumen and Nanite that isn't in hardware ray tracing. But both still look great. I also noticed the texture on the back of this truck reflects light differently between Lumen and Hardware Ray Tracing. So the grass and the bushes and all the plants etc are so much more detailed with Nanite Geometry on. And you can see every single individual leaf has its own kind of reflections and its own shadows. And because these bushes have still got whatever they are, Christmas lights or something on them as well, you can see some of the lights reflecting on the inside of the scope of the gun. It seems more pronounced in Lumen and Nanite without hardware ray tracing, but that might be something to do with a random generation of what lights are on in the bush on the replay, like they might not replay exactly the same lights that are on every single time. Also, the chug splash light seems to fill the screen a lot more than just Lumen and Nanite. You can see in the slow-mo how the light engulfs every leaf. I find the way that light bounces off wood really pleasing. And when you look at the castle walls, the way that the light reflects off it just gives it so much more immersion and realism. It still looks a little bit blown out on the Lumen and Nanite compared to the hardware ray tracing. But there's also not quite as much light bleed with hardware ray tracing as you can see the interior of the castle looks darker. Also, if we just stop on the reflection on this water, you'll notice there's a tree on the Lumen and Nanite one which is being reflected from the other side of the water that doesn't show up in the hardware ray tracing one. The hardware ray tracing looks very similar to just the screen space reflections. So overall, my impressions of Lumen and Nanite geometry being implemented into Unreal Engine is a game changer. Lumen is extremely impressive and very close to hardware ray tracing, but not quite as demanding on the hardware. 
and nano geometry with scalable fully shaded distant objects is really impressive, especially with foliage. I can't wait to see these features in games with more realistic graphics. But currently Fortnite is the only game with these features, but I'm sure they'll be more soon. Well thanks ever so much for watching, please like and sub and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Peace.